Hello everyone, it's the Killer Critic, and safe to say that it's been a long while since I've been giving updates on the KH Another Time Another Story series that we've been working on. Many things have changed that have resulted in the series having some major developmental issues over time that I didn't see coming. Let's start off with the main thing that caused development to be delayed. The story has been through some major revisions from the original plan. The characters that have gone through the most extensive changes in terms of writing is Sora, Kairi, Axel, and Aqua. And in order to properly write out the character arcs for these four, we've had to do some redrafting and revise how we're going to approach the episode format. Originally, we were going to approach this as a 30 minute styled episodic format. However, when writing in the storylines for the Disney worlds, it actually became extensively difficult to make cliffhangers or endings that wouldn't just come off as forced or poorly executed. Instead, I've decided that it's much better to just make it an all-in-one type format. One episode per Disney World that we go to. Of course, this means some episodes aren't restricted to a 30-minute format, and as such, go on for longer time codes. The storylines themselves for the Disney Worlds also went through major revisions. Toy Story and Tangled, for example, were the worlds that needed extensive rewriting in order to make the stories work for the overall narrative such as the addition of characters who weren't present in the original draft or in the game version that changed the storylines drastically. This was the second biggest factor that caused delays as it became extensively hard at first to figure out exactly what art style I was going to use for the series. Nailing how the eyes would look was perhaps the biggest hurdle I had to overcome. Soon I managed to figure things out and nail the best way to make the eyes look fine for the characters. The line work was also a major hurdle, as originally the characters looked flat until I altered the line work to make an improved filter, making the designs look more alive. Effect wise, such as the auras, I needed major practice in order to make the proper looks for transformations, such as Sora's dry forms. During my time practicing and improving the animations, I've also realized that I've stretched myself too thin with what I was working with. Originally I was doing the animation solo, but now I've figured out that putting together an animation team will help improve the production vastly, which is what I'll be focusing on once scripting of the first season has been completed. I've gotten additional writers to help me get a clearer focus on how the entire series is going to work out, and I've focused on redrafting the first season with more descriptive and extensive sets of details in the scenes. I had originally drafted and scripted much of the story all the way to the midpoint of the series, but then I had to look back and understand that what I made wasn't up to par with the quality I wanted for the series. In a way, it's fitting, really. An adaption of a game that was announced too early also ends up being announced too early itself. <laughs> Ultimately, the series has gone through some major revisions, and I think we finally found our footing for production. We can't give a proper release date, but now we have a proper vision to set forward with. It was my mistake for announcing too early, and that's on me. The series will continue production, and to stave off the wait time, I'm planning on releasing short animation clips that can help you all have content to watch while the production continues. I'm the Killer Critic, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.